Okay. okay. And that's really what I was looking for from the planning board. Okay. So I'll, I'll take care of this. Thank you. Just don't put it up on top where it blocks everything. <laughs> Anything else for the planning board? I wasn't there. Rich really covered for me last night. The planning board approved the process documentation that they followed for the rules and procedure. Rules and procedure for the document that was that was approved and filed and. And, and, they, and they certified the yeah. information from the town meeting, the new zoning ordinances. And the, the, and the rules of procedure. We, we also were operating with changes to our rules of procedure that we had not, we adopted, but we had not certified. Uh, so we certified those. We, we agreed to have them certified so that we could turn around and work on changing them again. What does that mean for, what's the difference between certifying? Certifying, well, adoption is, is, is when, it, when the board decides to make a change, and the board agrees, they vote, and it passes, it's adopted. Certified means that a copy is sent to the town clerk so an outside party can come, instead of having to come to the board to see their opinion, they can independently go somewhere in the town hall, typically the town clerk, look at a copy that she verified has come from the board so they can stay independent. In case it, it set it up that it set up that way in case somebody has a disagreement with what the way the board is doing something. That if you disagree with the board, you don't want to go to a board and ask them how they do their things. You need to go. You need to be able to go to a. And the certified copy is the legal procedure for the planning board to follow. That's right. The process they have to follow. And that's why it's documented and put away, so you can't change it in real time. This is this is the procedure. No hanky panky. And yeah, and any changes have to be certified by the town clerk in order for them to be legal. It has nothing to do with with um, you know state or OEP or anything like that. No. Yeah, strictly in house. Webmaster, I would just comment that uh, we have the virtual uh, town website contract established. The website committee's first meeting with the company is tomorrow? Tomorrow night. Night. That's correct. Right here at 6 o'clock. Thank Anybody? you. 6 o'clock? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Um. Yeah. And uh, she will provide us an update on the 28th select news meeting. Anything else under other categories of town officials? Townhouse update. Uh, first of all, the hot water, the new hot water tank is installed, working just fine. Uh, for what it's worth, it's, it's wired 220, so it's really fast, it's warm up, and uh, provides us plenty of hot water. The townhouse painting, I went to four companies. I got bids from two. Here's a bid from Burnham Painting in New Burnham. And here is a bid from Gregory Painting of San Luna. And the Burnham company bid Is twenty six hundred dollars? That's to do what now? Okay. What are they paying for that? Mm -hmm. Job consists: paint house, townhouse tower, left and right wings, in front that have shakes, bottom portion sixteen inch clapboard, four windows and four shutters. Uh, prep, wash, scrape, uh, loose areas, caulk where it's appropriate, uh, cracks, full oil prime, one full cone of oil finish, satin or semi, Benjamin Moore or California paint. Oil? You can still do oil. You just can't buy it in New Hampshire. 
You go to Maine, you go to Vermont, and I had to get it to Massachusetts. Uh, the other bid was for $3,387 with basically the same criteria for the job. Except that he was offering a oil primer and a latex finish with California paint. Do these people who are bidding, uh, since they should be back in their work, are they in agreement that what is being done is what should be done? In other words, the types of paint that should be used is yes. appropriate? Yes. Uh, I would explain that uh, this uh, Gregory painting, just finishing up doing the Murphy's uh, foreman's house, for lack of a better word. And uh, Burnham Painting does all the painting for Brewster Academy. And for full disclosure, he painted my house a couple of years ago. But this is a substantial difference in the prices. Mm -hmm. And what would the original like, cost, remember, to do the whole thing? Seven grand. Uh, it was uh, $8,600 was the only bid we received. Uh, and I just did that as to get a feel for what it would be, and that happened to be from Burnham. Uh, but uh, that's not a competitive bid. That mm -hmm. was just, just... Oh, that was to have them paint the whole, the whole thing. thing. No, I'm talking originally when we painted... Well, that was five, six years ago? Seven years ago? It's been a while. Yeah. The other two companies I haven't heard from are both in Wakefield. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they pay the money. Too busy. So when we do the tower, they're doing all four sides of the tower? Good. Three sides. Well, if it goes above the roof line, yeah, the back side. Hmm. So are we adding all these together? No, nope, that's the final So figure. this is the final that's figure, which is 2600 Right. It's just the opposite. I was taking this 26 and add all the other. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's what I was no. doing. No, I called and clarified that. Okay. So that's the front door, the shutters, the windows, the bottom portion, sash. Okay. Recommendations. Do I hear a motion? Are you recommending one over the other? Well, there's a difference of almost uh, $700. Seven, almost $800 difference. So yes, I would recommend Burn, Burnham's painting. Okay. I'll make a motion to go with Burnham's painting. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Um, as long as they provide all the, the, the cer certifications. And insurance. And insurance. Upon Do we have to decide anything the and date wise? Or they're all set? Should be the same color. It shouldn't be white again. No, no. In other words, we have to pick between two different types of paintings at the other bit. One of them wanted us to pick between. Um, yeah, actually, uh, he said we can either have a Benjamin Moore or a California. That'd be other preference. And satin or semi gloss. I want whatever we had previously, but I don't remember what that was. We need to dig through the old contract. It's Benjamin Moore. Okay. And then he wanted to know satin or semi semi gloss. Yeah, I think semi gloss. Yeah, semi gloss satin would be too shiny. 
No, $7. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Okay. Yeah. Full gloss would be nice. Yeah, full gloss would be nice. It'll, it'll stand up to the weather now. Yeah. Is it going to stand, look so shiny we'll have to paint the rest of the building immediately? Yeah. <laughs> that may happen anyway. It's going to happen anyways, but not this year. Regardless of how good it looks. Because okay. once you paint it, it's going to look so good that the rest of the building is going to look run down. Yeah, and, and for Booty's accounting, the monies for this come out of a fund that's been set aside that the selectmen are authorized to expend. So the money's already there, but it's not in the regular budget. It's a expendable trust. X, extra budget, X budget. Well, it's an expendable trust. And we put monies away every year into it, so. And it's a water heater. Right, yeah. water heater's the same thing. Maintenance and upkeep. All right, I, we, we'll go with, with Burnham. And, and you said you wanted Benjamin Moore. Benjamin Moore. And I'd like to know about a gloss. Semi gloss? Or well, gloss? well, out of those two, I'd like we, we want semi, but a gloss would be not would be better. Okay, I just put a question mark, I'll talk to him about it, I'll talk, give you feedback. Okay. Yeah, get the pros and cons on using the gloss. He may have yep. a reason that he does not want it. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 You got three eyes. Historically it would gloss, you know, they have to be certified to work on that building, right? Both of them have insurance. They both of them have state certification. Okay. They've been to school to be painters. Mm -hmm. Well, they, there's they, a reason because any any building that has that is pre 1978 okay. has a, um, could have asbestos paint or lead okay. paint, and they have to be certified in the removal and um, disposal of that in order to paint. And she's, she's gotten the townhouse involved with a, a grant, right? From the yeah, but that's totally separate than the painting mm -hmm. project. It is. We've already talked to her. Outside upkeep, in fact, actually, they suggested that if we could, get it painted. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Okay. We ran it through the Heritage Commission before we moved forward with it. I gotta make some phone calls. And okay. okay. Energy audit. The uh, we let asked the staff at Regional Planning Board. They said they offered a free energy audit. We three four months ago we asked for it. A John Snell came and visited. Uh, Tom Hill was good enough to go around with him uh, as part of that project. He submitted a 19-page report. With pictures. With pictures. What I've done is I've read it. I'm now coordinating it through Clifton and Bill, rather than make copies. Uh, and I would anticipate at the next selectmen's meeting, we will be discussing uh, those recommendations and what we feel we can go forward with now and what we have to start budgeting for next year. But it's a very thorough, a very comprehensive report. Uh, Tom, I don't know if you had a chance to see it or no. Uh, I'll make sure you have an opportunity to see it, but very comprehensive, pictures of everything, documentation. Uh, we found one of the vents underneath the townhouse that was off, so we were heating the outside world. Tom was nice, Hill was nice enough to go underneath and fix that. So at least we know the heat's going into the building now. That could be why our oil usage was so high we were heating underneath. <laughs> Anything else on the energy audit? Um, this is getting scary. I think I'm getting down to the bottom. Any other old business? Yes, there was a form that well, we had to read on some you know, 45 days to fill it out or oh. something. I oh. finished it and I passed it on to put it in your mailbox. Did you finish it? It wasn't in my mailbox. What was it? It was some. It was in a, an envelope where when you're finished, you could take it out, put it in, and mail it to the state. It was all set for mailing. It was from the town uh, oh, yeah. butter. I'll look again. Okay. okay. I had a, I 